Throughout your flight training, it's likely that the flight school or FBO at the airport took care of fueling your airplane before each flight. Even after you earn your certificate, it's standard practice for the FBO at your destination airport to fuel your airplane directly from a truck on the ramp after placing a fuel order. Many airports offer a self-serve fuel option at a cheaper price per gallon, which can offer big savings for large fill-ups and serve as a plan B for fuel when landing after hours when the FBO is closed. The only trade-off is that you have to do the fueling yourself. While the process may seem intimidating at first, you'll find that it's actually quite easy once you learn the basic steps. First, identify the location of the fuel pump at the airport. If this is your first time at that airport, a quick call to Unicom should provide information on where to taxi to the pump. If you'll be arriving after hours, call the FBO on the phone ahead of time. This can simplify the process and allow you to taxi directly to the pump without having to shut down first to ask for directions. Park close to the pump, but not too close. Most self-serve fuel pumps include a long hose designed to reach both tanks on the wings. If you are uncomfortable taxiing the aircraft close to obstacles surrounding the pump, shut the engine off, grab a tow bar, and pull the aircraft closer. After shutdown, remove the keys from the ignition and verify the master switch is off. Most self-serve pumps include chalks nearby to secure the airplane, and if you're lucky, there may be some work gloves and a ladder nearby to help with the fueling process. All fuel pumps will have a grounding wire at the pump that has to be connected to the aircraft. The typical connection point will be the exhaust. This prevents static discharge while fueling. Just like fueling your car, you'll have to swipe your credit card first. Many pumps require you to enter either how many gallons or dollars and fuel type you want. So have a rough number in mind, even if you're planning to top off the tanks. After making your selections, the fuel pump will turn on and you're ready to fuel. There will often be two hoses, one for Jet A and one for 100 low lead. The nozzles for the two should be different, but always double check. Most pumps require you to activate the pump with a lever or switch before fuel will flow. After verifying you have the correct hose, pull out more hose than you think you'll first need in order to provide some slack in the line. Make sure to keep the fuel cap nearby and know its exact location after removing it. While fuel pumps for your car will have an automatic shutoff valve when the tank is full, the pumps for aircraft do not. Fuel your aircraft with caution as you don't want to overfill and dump it all over your wings. This can create quite the mess and ruin your clothes. After the tank is fueled, immediately replace the cap. Turn off the pump with the switch or lever and retract the fuel hose when finished. Typically, there will be a retract button that uses an electric motor to wind the hose back into its reel. Keep it under control though, as sometimes these move pretty quickly. Last, remove the grounding wire and wind it back to its reel using the automatic retraction function if available. Clean up around the area and make sure to leave the self-serve fuel pumps the same as you found it. Take one final walk around the airplane to verify the fuel caps are on, the area is cleaned up, and your aircraft is ready to fly. Choosing the self-serve fuel option can save you a lot of money when available and may be your only option when fuel is needed after hours. During the pre-flight, check out the FBO section in your aviation app to compare pricing. The full price is what the FBO charges to fuel you from the truck. After your first self-serve fuel experience, you'll find the process to be quite easy and well worth the effort.